Hi Kickstarters, I'm Dan. This is my brother Ted. Our little brother Scott's back there with our parents, Drs. Michael and Mary Dan Eads. And this, this is sous vide. In 2009, we created the first all-inclusive home sous vide unit. I use this four or five nights a week. The sous vide supreme brings the secret of high-end chefs right to your home. The inspiration for the sous vide supreme actually came from a pork chop I had at hotel room service once. And it was such a great pork chop that we just had to ask how they did it. So we actually went down to the dining room and asked them, what did you do to make this pork chop so delicious? And they told us they cooked it sous vide. We went home and, and, and we rigged one of these things up and found out the food is really great cooked that way, but it's a pain when you're doing it. DIY and we looked everywhere and could find nothing but you know these hugely expensive giant commercial models and we just had to create one water oven of our own because we wanted everybody to be able to enjoy that pork chop and food like that I mean really top quality food and do it at home you can make the most tender juicy meats the most flavorful vegetables you've ever had and it's as easy as can be you just add water that's it it's that simple even I can do it. And that's going somewhere. Sous vide literally means under vacuum in French. And it describes a cooking technique that was adopted by top-end chefs all over the world in which you vacuum seal pouches of food and submerge them in a very precisely temperature controlled water bath. What a lot of people are doing, they're using like, like cooler lids, they're using tin foil contraptions. Some people even use uh, ping pong balls. Yeah. The sous vide supreme water oven was the first water oven ever introduced to the home kitchen. And it's still, after almost 10 years, the simplest, easiest water oven to use. And now, with your support, we're gonna change the sous vide cooking landscape once again. Introducing the next generation sous vide supreme. The technique remains the same, but with your help, we can make some incredible improvements, making it even simpler to use and making it our best sous vide machine ever. Like the new touchscreen. It's sleek, easy to navigate. You can even use it with wet fingers. A new clear lid so that you can see what's going on. Insulated double thick walls. Keeps the heat in, plus it's cool to the touch. Of course, we've kept the original customizable rack to keep all your meats and vegetables submerged. The biggest innovation, the integrated Wi-Fi. It's going to allow it to work with our new app that lets you control the machine from pretty much anywhere. You simply select what you're cooking, how you want it cooked, start, done. Or you can get Alexa to help you. There's already water in it. All you have to do is ask her to turn it on. Alexa, you set my sous vide for 134? I like my medium. We're also going to make it where you can program your sous vide supreme with recipes you find on social media. Like pork chops. Yeah, and I love them now that they're cooked sous vide. We even use it to make cocktails like Old Fashions, Earl Grey infused vodka, even limoncello. I love the limoncello. And poached eggs. Even desserts. My favorite part. One machine. One touch. This is sous vide. We'd love your support to make the new sous vide supreme a reality and bring this amazing cooking lifestyle to every kitchen. Your friends and family will think you're a cooking genius, but we know better. Right now, our goal is to raise $250,000 for the engineering, design, and development of the new hardware and software to kickstart this exciting project off. Thank you for your support. From the Eats family to yours. Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Eads, one of the inventors of the sous vide supreme. You know, people ask us all the time, what are the differences between a water oven, such as our sous vide supreme, or an immersion circulator, or these new hybrid units that are coming on the market now? And there are differences between them, and there are pluses and minuses for each one. So we thought we'd take just a few minutes and go over all of these types of units with you so that you can see what the differences are. So when you get ready to start sous vide cooking, you can get the unit that's going to work the best for you. Immersion circulators have a single heating point that sits in the water and requires there to be a pump or a propeller to stir the water to maintain an even temperature throughout. With a water bath such as a sous vide supreme, the entire base is completely wrapped in a PID controlled heating element.
operation and steaming up the kitchen, the cook must maintain and check the water often because if enough water evaporates, it might burn up the pump. A self-contained water oven has no pump or moving parts, so just empty the water and wipe the interior with a clean cloth after use. The immersion circulators all have either a pump or a propeller exposed to the water. Buildup of mineral deposits from water or food debris within the pump itself can occur, and these pumps or propellers will need to be cleaned and maintained regularly in order for the units to work properly. A hybrid circulator has a pump in the floor of the bath. The bath must be emptied and dried after each use. Because of the pump, it's actually a bit difficult to access for maintenance and cleaning. Some water ovens, such as the sous vide supreme, can pre-calibrate it around multiple temperatures within the cooking range. There is no additional calibration needed by the cook. However, some immersion circulators do require recalibration by the cook when shifting to different temperatures. You want to check with the manufacturer to be sure. The self-contained water bath systems occupy about the footprint of a bread maker or crock pot on your countertop. Now, if you have a small kitchen and don't plan to use your sous vide machine very often, then the benefit of immersion circulators is that they can be stored away pretty easily. However, when you are using it for cooking, you will need to attach it to a container and set it on plenty of countertop space. Since sous vide cooking typically spans several hours or sometimes even days, consider how this will fit into your lifestyle. A water oven, such as the sous vide supreme, is a double walled insulated water bath which ensures a cool touch exterior while also containing steam. If you have an immersion circulator, the container you're cooking in can get very hot to the touch and can cause potential dangers if people are not careful around it. So there you have it. We've summarized the differences between the popular types of sous vide cooking devices. We hope you found this helpful in picking the right option for you to ensure that you have a device that's going to suit your needs for years to come. Every sous vide supreme unit is meticulously hand calibrated, guaranteeing the highest quality and precision. The secret is the advanced PID technology that allows the 11 liters of water to be precisely controlled to within one degree Fahrenheit. Once your food is cooked, it can remain perfectly held in the sous vide supreme for hours, giving you the power to decide when you're ready to eat. No other cooking technique can offer such an incredible benefit. Today, I'm going to make one of my favorite cuts of beef, which is notoriously difficult to cook properly, beef brisket. Even better, I'm cooking 100% full-blood Wagyu beef from Lone Mountain Wagyu, a highly acclaimed beef that is known for its incredible marbling and intense beefy flavor. Once all the spices are mixed together, I'll add them to the brisket. It's important to completely cover all surfaces. Once covered completely, place it in your cooking pouch and vacuum seal it. Now preheat your sous vide supreme to 132 degrees Fahrenheit. This temperature will bring the meat to a perfect medium rare and it will become incredibly tender. Place the brisket in the water oven. You'll now leave it for 48 hours. When you are ready to eat, take the brisket out of the pouch and dry it thoroughly. Add the brisket to the pan and leave untouched for about one and a half minutes, then flip. At this point I like to add some butter to the pan so I can baste it for this final step. Just continue basting the melted butter over the brisket while it cooks on the second side. Once both sides are seared, place the brisket on your cutting board. Because you've cooked the meat in the sous vide bath, it isn't necessary to rest the meat and you'll be able to start slicing right away. Look how incredibly moist this brisket is. I promise you've never had anything quite like this in your life. One of my favorite condiments for brisket, and really any meat, is pickled mustard seeds. They not only add great color, but also a nice pickled punch to the meat. Now, with the sous vide supreme, a difficult cut of meat, such as brisket, will no longer have to intimidate, as you can cook it flawlessly each and every time. <laughs>